A few weeks ago, I was doing some research on, on YouTube about worm farming, and I came across um, something called black soldier fly farming, and I'd never heard of them. And this is a, a about a two inch or an inch fly, sorry, it might be about an inch fly, that lays eggs, and then these larvae, if um, dealt with properly, can compost any type of food, both cooked and raw food. And the interesting part about the flies themselves is that they don't have any mouths. So they don't eat after they've become flies. But the most interesting part was that these larvae are, are really nutritious, particularly for animals and um, more specifically fish and chicken. So I started doing some more research. And the interesting thing is that they do something that's called a self-harvest. So what they'll do is they'll eat and eat and eat while they're larvae, and then they will climb up a ramp to go and find soil so that they can become pupa and then turn into flies. So the reason for this funny little ramp and this contraption that I built, well, I, had, I got Richard to help me initially, but we had a bit of challenges with it. It's that the food will go in the bottom um, and then along with bedding, and then when they're ready to climb up, they'll just climb up that ramp, and then there's a hole at the top that they'll just fall into. I thought this was a great idea on so many levels. First of all, it can help you get rid of um, your food waste, which you can't do with red, uh, red regular worms because they don't like cooked food. And even raw food, there's certain things that you can't give them. But for these black, so black soldier larvae, uh, they eat pretty much anything. And I went surfing around and found a whole lot of videos watching what they eat. And the amazing thing is, apart from the castings that they produce, they then also become this really valuable food source. So I decided I wanted to get into it and try it out. There were a couple of um, options that you could use. Uh, you could buy what's called a biopod and things like that. But that comes from the States, and for me that was quite expensive. So then I found a plan on Northwest um, Worms, and I'll leave the link in the description. Um, on how to build this thing. And it was quite complicated because it was working in inches and then to get the South African companies to give us the right amount of wood in centimeters. And we even asked them to cut it for us and they couldn't do it. They just couldn't cope with the inches versus um, centimeters and meters. So we ended up doing it ourselves. And the box was a bit of a challenge to build because the directions were printed in black and white and the pictures were grayscale, so they didn't show very clearly. So we made a few messes along the way, but in the process, we finally got it done, made a few adjustments and tweaks, and got it building. Now what I'm doing here in the is I'm adding a, a sort of a weed liner in there just to keep it relatively clean. It drains through, and then I've put holes in the bottom so that any liquid that accumulates will go straight through to the soil. So I'm not sure if I mentioned that the larvae are in fact... Um, 40% protein and 35% fat, which makes them a very viable food source. Um, so that's the reason why I decided to start this. And what I'll do for the rest of the video is just put it on a very fast speed and put some music on because it did take us a while. Okay, so that is now done. You just have to wait for it to dry. And then tomorrow, and I, I'll add the coconut, and some food, and then hopefully we get some flies. <laughs> 